Today, I'm about to sign two executive orders and basically the best way to describe them to undo the damage Trump has done. Sticking to his poll promise, one of the key executive decisions taken by U.S. President Joe Biden was to reverse the ban on H-4 visa holders from getting work authorization permits. H-4 visas, often called dependent visas, are given usually to spouses of foreign workers with H-1B work visas. A majority of them, over 90%, are Indian women who have moved to the U.S. to be with their husbands. But being on a dependent visa, they face trouble and delays in being allowed to take up jobs. Biden's decision comes as a big relief to the Indian expat community. Almost about 100,000, 1 lakh, uh, you know, uh, uh, people have been using this H-4B visas. And I would say more than 95% of them are uh, Indian spouses. Most of them are women. And that was giving them economic freedom. They were just giving them... Uh, kind of a total freedom to be able to do what they want to do. For H-4 visa holders, the process of getting a job in the U.S. has never been a smooth one. There were some relaxations announced by then U.S. President Barack Obama, which were again reversed by U.S. President Donald Trump, who complicated that entire process, making an H-4 visa holder wait for anywhere between four to seven years to get a work permit in the U.S. It only brings temporary relief believes campaigner Meghna Damani, who went to the US as a bride nearly two decades back. Like her, many women at the peak of their career who suddenly had their job rights cut suffered low self-esteem, confidence and depression. She launched social media campaigns like Dreams Uprooted to change the way migrant women are treated. Real victory is when spouses automatically get the right to work, she feels. These are the H-1 visa uh, is given to somebody who has a special skill that is not available in this country and therefore, you know, they are invited here to work. And it happens to be that, you know, they have a spouse or they may have children uh, who are dependent on them and who accompany them uh, to the United States. So in such a case, if the spouse is not allowed to work, it uh, really is very unfair because these women are so educated, having them here in the country, locked up in their homes, just surfing the internet or you know going into depression becoming a liability of, you know on american society it just makes no sense and it is not value creative uh, at all so i really feel in this new decade you know it's about time and it's high time that women are on the h4 visa are given you know that basic human right to work and have their own dignity for that to happen, immigration law experts believe the visa rule changes must be codified into law. All these hurdles can be overcome if President Biden's new immigration bill, as introduced in Congress, is passed into law. However, there are challenges to that as well. The bill could go through many iterations before it is put to vote. And even when it's put to vote, the how the Senate will require seven Republican votes to pass it into law. This is despite the fact that both the houses have a majority of Democrats in it. But until it becomes law, the migrants on a dependent visa will always live in fear that the next president could again reverse these visa rules.